Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I made it back from Kansas City. It was great. It was only, um, I don't know, about a 36 hour uh, trip, but I got to be with Israel. I got to see some old good friends from college and I just got to get away. It was, it was nice, it was very cold. Uh, my idea of vacation is not going and traveling outside when it's 30 degrees, but here we are in 30 degree weather. Uh, but I missed something last night. I was like, you know what, I just, I'm going to wait and cover it when I get home. This is not news to most people, I would imagine, but maybe somebody clicked on this video and didn't know it, and if, the, if that's the case, great. So I've always thought Mr. Sinister was very annoying to fight, but also obviously has his counters. We're talking about Lady D, we're talking about Nim God, we're talking about even Warlock. And I'm sure there are countless others I could have named that aren't off the top of my head. And so when you go from uh, where he is right now, you think I, I, there are definitely mutant champions who need a buff more. Uh, I still think Psylocke should be way better. I still think, obviously, Kabam Mike's lover's Cyclops should be better. OG Deadpool should be better. And then I put Beast at the top of the list. Of should be better uh, but they're not going to touch those in this iteration because when we look at the Morbius and Werewolf by Night balance update forum post we see balance team here again with an update on the latest round of champions up for review Morbius and Werewolf by Night October, October's first addition to the Legion of Monsters was Morbius designed to be a high damage dealer with revisited classic science utilities such as power region blah 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 we're happy with how Morbius landed he'll be staying as is Werewolf by Night, no changes in coming for a Werewolf as well. So because of this, we're going to be releasing an update to Mr. Sinister. This, up, this update will be focused on leaning into his heavy debuff pause loop and giving him more power as an attacker. And the full release will be with changes in May. We will see the March-April uh, beta build. I think it's interesting that they're choosing him. I sort of feel like it's very random. And I'm not saying he doesn't need an update. He's what so many champions are in 2024. He's mid. He's just kind of there. He's not the best champion. He's not the worst champion. But most champions fall in that category for obvious reasons. And by the way, I don't say that to be critical. I think it's more exciting to have champions that are good and bad and average. If everybody was the same and nobody was more exciting than anybody else, I think this game would already be dead. You have to have a white whale to chase. It's kind of what makes the early access bundle system so terrible for Valiant players because you've taken the fun out of the hunt by saying, give us a hundred bucks and we'll give you the new six star. Now, obviously, in terms of the amount of money you could spend to get a six-star without that, it's very much pro player. But it makes the game feel different to me. It, it makes it a true cash trade-off that doesn't have some of the fun. Now, if you don't choose to get the early access bundle, or obviously there are so many players, including many Paragon players, that have no opportunity right now other than exploring Acropolis, which is not going to happen for most accounts, especially for the resources and time it takes. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to be uh, in a position where they don't get to, say, get the early access bundle for six-star dust. Um, all in all, I'm intrigued. I think this could certainly uh, be good, but I also wish it was Beast or Cyclops or Psylocke first. And maybe that's just me doing a personal preference to end this video. But it's my channel, dang it. So I can give some personal preferences if I want. Thanks for all the support while I was gone. It's great to be back. Have a good one.